taking a graph. It's averaging out for about 29 seconds right now. Go ahead and pause it. Okay. This is what I got. And this is what Critical had. If we take a look at it. Boom, ch boom, boom, ch boom. That's it. The right spot. The peaks, slightly different, lowest point, almost the same, another dip, same, just past four, peak, same, and drop. And we differ here, but if you take a look at the internet, DM6 frequency graph response. There's some really messed up ones out there. Um, I wonder if this is related to... I can't see if he was doing one... Smoothing. On 24th. I'm going to reset it. Do it again. Now, if you're looking at that peak and you're thinking, where is that? It's actually just outside. So that's 16K. And that's 16K. I'm actually using the same app, so it's mm, close to identical, except for from here to here. There's variables, which is not really uncommon looking at the ones on the internet the one I'm most similar to right now is this one and this is a guy that everybody says is the graph dude so starting out this close uh, is a good start so I think we're good to go the mic has been calibrated correctly I'm gonna make this camera turn so if it does squeakies and stuff sorry I turn it over We've got the DM6 inside. We got a Dayton Audio mic running the. This is the left side. Right side's not. There's nothing on the right side. And this is the headphones connect. And this is an iOS device. I've got a big Dayton Audio rig. And I've also got the ear set up. But this is the one that I can do in my type of video like this so I got it I gotta say thank you to critical because I basically kinda stalked his photos and figured out what he was doing uh, he shares it anyway so it's not you don't even really he probably would have said something if I asked but I just kinda stalked and I figured out the other one too pretty much running out of the USB of the or the lighting port I've got that almost set up this is good enough though for right now. And there we go. Now, to give it a little test run, besides this, I got the Canas Pro. Now, if you take a look at this, and then you go look at the Campfire Andromeda, mm, it's very close. So is this. It's a good tuning. That's why it's popular. Um, this massive cavity at 10 the Harman is actually greatly reduced relative to 4, 5, 6k so it's it's actually kind of the target in a way that there's nothing really going on right there or it's greatly reduced um, opinion I don't believe that there's a spike in the Harman curve I believe it goes off it just falls um, now I'm going to turn again. I'm going to take this out. OK. 
I'm using a small tip on this. Now the Canas Pro is supposed to be using as their guide a kind of um, not a kind of the the Harman target is what they are going after according to their own uh, advertising it's a good way to go if that's what people think sounds good and you want to sell stuff then you want to do what is appealing to the people so we got the same tip because it fits inside here on this now we're gonna put this on then of the whole process this is the part that's most important because if you get any wrinkles then you're not going to get it accurate graph so there we are now we should see more of a general bump if they're following the curve so I'm going to reset this Bye bye DM6. And I'm going to pause that. Make sure we are doing pink noise generating. Okay, turn that off. And play. I almost turned this video off. I almost turned it off. But I won't. Because I got the wrong fucking cable in there. So let me stop that. Okay. Let me reset that. I, th I I thought, oh man, fuck. Am I going to have to stop this and redo this? And fuck that. This is how it goes. Get up at your seats like, what the fuck is that? Oh shit. It becomes pretty clear. You don't get kind of good graphs when you're not even plugged in. No. Look at that. That is what they're doing. That that is the goal and it looks like they're doing it. M noteworthy, while we still got the DM6 over here, the the biggest so you see the 8 bar and then this bar and then that cavity, you see the 8 bar, that bar and then right after it, very close is the lowest point uh, of this frequency also doesn't need to be elevated on this set or on the canass. Highest point is just around 8k. On my graph, uh, if you go back, it's pretty much like this. So about almost the highest point is about 8. There's a slight peak maybe. Mine was actually same height, a little bit over. So your highest point relative to the rest of the frequency is approximately the same point as it is on that set the deepest cavity was exactly the same point and then it's got another jump that's at about the same this is maybe common to a lot of sets I know that this is by critical and I know my just I just showed an identical copy of this part of that part and slight difference between here and here this this is a nice so everything in the treble, same, is gone. Uh, and the Harman target is basically this. Uh, it might be a little bit further out, and then everything just is down. There are no abnormal uh, peaks, which is part of what their whole um, advertising is, basically. And in a video, 
after I just said that I I, I just got this running today um, it looks like what I heard and it looks like the graph that they were putting on their site um, is pretty accurate and it looks like I have and it's the most important thing because the, the, me the universe you guys know that I have now uh, a good measuring rig not as it not just as it good but it fits my review style there it is it's right there it's the same rig that other people have used and like I said if I'm gonna target somebody go after the person that everybody ref references try to get close to them I could have picked one out of maybe three people he's doing a portable which means that if I copied that I'd be able to do it portable which means that it, it could be done right here which is the reason that this uh, iPad mini was actually bought for the specific purpose of putting it in the video because it's semi small but not too small and when I do a video um, I can do it right in front of you while you watch so some of you are like what the fuck and others are like cool um, if you want to know I'll tell you right now the CTZs have a messed up frequency and the uh, HQ uh, 12s are definitely lacking in bass uh, they've got a sub bass roll off that's clear but it's not a bad uh, it's got one like peak I'll show it to you guys at another time, but the CTZs that people said they thought it sounded a little weird. I, you can see why. Um, it's got a abnormal plot uh, frequency response graph. So I'm set up. I'm ready to go. I don't want people to lean on these too much because of the variation. You just saw me do one live in front of you, comparing it to critical, and it was very, very similar, but there are slight differences, and that's the variable of the length of tube that I'm using, the tips that I'm using, um, lots of variables. It's a, it's, it's a, uh, it's another tool in your toolbox, nothing more. So don't take it too. After you've heard it, or after people have given opinions, and then you want to try to line up the science pseudoscience close to science garage science basement science you know what I mean what I'm doing right now this is actually measurement this is science but it's of course not under controlled conditions so it's not really science but it is something that's good enough to give you um, an idea Instead of me telling you I saw a graph or printing it out, I can actually start it and set it. It's still averaging right now. Five minutes, 21 seconds, I'll just pause it. Um, I can do it right in front of you while I'm talking about the IMs or something else. It's as a like visual thing. So we are in... I already had the ears set up, but like I said, REW, Room EQ Wizard is uh, really a computer based thing and I either gotta edit the computer screen into the video which fuck that it's a pain in the ass or I gotta put a computer on the table right here even a laptop and that's just a pain in the ass too so this had to be it um, and it actually works really good so I'm, 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 I'm happy so the J, J vlog videos will be weekend only um, and during the work week my second not official job is YouTubing um, though I'm not a youtuber but that's when these reviews and other stuff will come in the J vlogs will only be on the weekend because I'm busy working anyway so I'm out of here 14 minutes it should have taken five surprise and I'm out